Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you're not a part of the paid channel membership, which is called the Chatterbox, you can join by clicking the join now button or the link that's in the description bar. If you are having trouble with those two options, you can always go to the about me tab and join there. Um, it is $1.99 to join that membership and you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Today I am going to take the time to introduce um, Everett by Don Donofrio to you guys. Um, he is a special baby that I ordered specifically for myself. Um, this baby is going to be an addition of, I want to say 20. I can't remember exactly. Um, but it's going to be a limited edition. Um, she is painting the edition herself, the sculptor. And then she just finally opened up and allowed to sell a few blanks for other people to paint. So um, the edition will be kind of mixed between other painters and the sculptor herself. Um, I was really happy. It's always a pleasure when the sculptor allow you to paint one of their sculpts um, that they had designed to sculpt uh, paint exclusively themselves. Um, because sometimes we just want to have our own version of them. And for me, um, I don't know about other people, but for me, being that I do primarily um, collect black babies or biracial babies, I like to paint those myself just because I, I kind of it's kind of hard to find them painted in the way that I like them painted so I was really happy to be able to have the opportunity to paint one myself um, a lot of times um, and I guess that, that I'll save that subject for another time but um, so yeah so he, he is a big boy um, he is I don't have the exact measurements of what she said, but I put my measuring to him. And from head to heel, he's like 21 inches. And I think if he was stretched all the way out, he might be even 22 inches. So he's a good length. Um, I There is a few things that I want to say, number one, that I absolutely love about her babies. Or not babies, or this baby. I want to say, number one, I really love the um the arch in the back um i think it allows the baby to be more cuddly um i think that it breaks it up from just looking like a very square sculpted black back so i i do really like that that part and i don't know like i don't know but i really i like that indent there um i love that he is very poseable and that um that he can he can bend into my 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 favorite baby pose if a baby can't pose in this pose i don't want it <laughs> it is it is it is crazy um he has a very cute realistic bum bum so let's start with his feet um so and i'm, I'm starting with the back of his feet um the bottom of his feet has really cute detail and I think he has a nice size little feet. Um, they're not extremely large and they're not super small. So I think they're very good for his size. Um, all right, so we're gonna flip him over. I just kind of had him like this just because. So we're gonna flip him over. And let me show you if he lays out. So because he has a natural bend to his legs, his legs kind of go, they will go in. So you probably want to cross or something or maybe even, I don't know, do something different than just straight down. I don't know. Oh, you guys can't see. Can you see? All right. So yeah, because he has that bin. So his legs will go like that. Because he's he's bent at his bent legs, um, but there's 
different ways that you can definitely pose him. Um, he is super soft. Um, she did have an option. He's poured in one piece. He did have the option to um, get a drink and wet. I did not get the drink and wet. Um, I, you know, I just, I just don't want to play with the drink and wets. Um, if I'm not familiar with, you know, how they do, you know, different sculptors do their drinking wets. I just decided not to go with the drinking wet. I'm stop picking stuff out. You got to get a whole real, real bath anyway. Um, the one thing about raw silicone when it comes to you, especially the super soft, um, it is very, very tacky unless they powder it. Some of them powder them down before they ship them out to you to blank kids. So... They're gonna come like, like glue. Like he's like, it's tacky, tacky. So, yeah. Um, but okay. So let's let's now let's start with the front of his feet. All right. So he has, like I said, he has a really cute feet. Um, these toes are all together, but the big toe is separate, which is nice because, you know, sometimes we want to do the little sandals and they have that one little thong part on it. And, um, so, and, and the same is on this foot. So it's good when they're both of the first two toes are, um, are separate. Um, I like the shape of his legs because they're very newborny and they're not just noodly. They actually have structure to them. And you can tell that the sculptor, you know, really sculpted legs and not just noodly legs. So, um, the one, the, that was the one thing that I was drawn to this baby for because I, I really felt like this was more of a real sculptor sculpt, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah. So, oh, I'm sorry. He's poured by Maria Lynn Grover and you guys know I love her silicone. Um... Marshmallow blend was not an option for him, but I feel like this one is almost marshmallowy. Um, but it's 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 considered her super soft. Um, so he has a cute navel. He has a a pretty fat tummy, which I think is going to be cute in clothes. But yeah, he has a really cute uh, pushed out tummy. He has a nice uh, uh, belly button. And his boy bits are super, super real. And it's not like a pin down or attached to like downward or anything. It looks very real. His boy, uh, everything in his boy area looks realistic. Oh God. Oh, that was my little mug thing fell. Okay. Sorry. Um, so yeah, everything looks, looks real down there. I can't show that part to you guys. Um, and he does have a really super cute bum bum too. If I didn't say that, it's very realistic. Um, he, he doesn't, doesn't have armatures. Those were not an option, um, because of the bend in the arm and the way that, I guess the way that some of these people insert armatures. Um, I don't, I haven't found anyone that have, that do armatures like Claire does yet, but I haven't had everybody's work. Um, Claire does a really soft armature, and so it doesn't, like a lot of people are like, oh, you can't put it in the super soft, you can't do this, you can't do that. Whatever armature that she uses, she puts it in anything, um, and it it is fine. But nevertheless, that's fine. Um, he doesn't need it because of the, um, the way that his arms are sculpted. It does allow you to do mostly what I want to do anyway. I normally like want it to be able to sit up like that because I don't want their arms to be straight down and I don't want them to stay straight up all the time. So, but this baby arms is sculpted in a way that it allows you to really pose his arms. So his arms will straighten out like enough. You know what I mean? So I like that and they'll go, you know, back. So he doesn't, he doesn't need an armature at all, at all. Um, you know, seeing him in person and, and watching him, I don't think that he, that I would have wanted an armature. His mouth was sculpted closed. Um, so you can get it with just a closed mouth and that's what it would look like. Um, but 
I I opted to pay for the additional amount to have his mouth open, of course. You know me. Um, so he has a little armpits. They're not really deep, but he has armpits. More on this side than this side. Um, but nice enough. He has cute detail ears. And I love his little nose. And his eyelids are really nice. Really nice to, to work with. Um, and I know some people think that's not important. But it's like when you're painting, every little thing means something to you. Um, his head shape is nice. Um, so I'm going to... Let me talk about his mouth a little bit. I love his full lip. I love his mouth. His mouth is beautiful. Very beautiful. So, of course, like I said, I had it open. And it's very smooth in there. And they inserted a little tongue, which um, the sculptor even said in her video. It's kind of funny looking. It's really like the one that Bear, Bear had. Um, it's really just like sticking up and a little flap in there. And it's, I mean, it's a tongue. But... I'll, I'll be honest that's the one thing I can say I could do without because it, it kind of just gets in the way of painting and stuff um inside the mouth I would have rather it not been a tongue in there um but you know some people some collectors are so picky I know they just trying to please the collectors so and it does I guess look more realistic if you open the mouth and you see a little tongue in there I guess um but um the one cute thing that I wanted to share too um, about him is that he can suck his his lip in, and I think that's so adorable. And then look at that; <laughs> it really changes his expression, and he just he looks so sweet. I think that 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 was it. That was that sealed the deal for me to see that. Um, I I love I love that look. He can do a lot of little funny things because of the way his mouth is. Like, you can kind of make him pout, too, a little bit. You just have to... And then it, it was a way I had his tongue. So I made his tongue stick out. <laughs> oh, God. I am so silly. But, um... Yeah, a lot of people are afraid of 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 the silicone. I'm not afraid of the silicone. I I love silicone. I love the way that it uh, that it moves and it... so anyway. But his head turns nicely side to side, so that is definitely not an issue. Um, it does fall back when you lift him up. So I'm gonna lift him up. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's so sweet, boy. So I'm going to lift him up and as you can see his head does fall back so you would want to support his head. Um, he, Like I said he is flexible in his middle area which is important because that, that's what tells you if he's going to cuddle or not nice, nicely. Um, so he's he's very much he's a big baby, but to me he gives me a very newborny like baby. So I I I don't want to paint him too too mature. I want to give him all the baby baby features because I I think in person he's definitely more of a newborn. Just a lot of little things about him, and the more time I spend with him, looking at him. You know, I'm I'm really, really seeing where he's definitely um he's definitely gonna be a baby that I love. Provided his painting come out the way that I'm hoping, um he should he should meet all my little standards. So his fist, one fist is closed. And it, he has a nice size. He has nice size hands, which is nice. Um, he hasn't. He has decent nail beds. Um, so for those that get crazy about nail beds, he has decent nail beds. This hand, I was a little worried about this hand, and inside it has nice detail, not like overly detailed. But I was kind of worried about this hand because it looks so, 
you know, dainty and thin in the photos and the hand looks kind of, the fingers looked pretty spacey. Um, but they're okay. They're, they're not, they're not, they look better in person. A lot of times I'm finding a lot of these things are looking better in person, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, they are, they are, this is a dainty hand though. Um, so, so yeah, so he is definitely going to be my baby. <laughs> um, like I said, he, he's so soft and he's he's posable his old he can lay on his side and his legs like kind of close in and that's something sometimes babies don't do is he like he gonna roll over <laughs> well just roll over if you want to <laughs> um so that's 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 a nice thing so i really like he can he can do so many realistic poses i think because of the way he sculpted and because of the softness and of course you always can give him a thumb if you want or a finger so that's that i'm going to go ahead and clean the area that i'm going to use to paint him and prepare him for painting but i won't start on him until i'm almost done rooting oakland um, she is priority for me because her mommy has paid for her in full and I need to get her her finished and on out and um, Then I don't know I think um, My other cuddle. I don't know which other cuddle baby I'll root next probably um, My awake one because that one is probably gonna get sold in the end um, A lot of people ask me is it available and it's not available right now because I don't want the pressure of having to rush to root it or you know get it done and stuff like that so right now it's not available um but i think in the future it might because i i'm gonna keep prototype kitty or kit <laughs> prototype kit um instead but yeah anyway so this is everett uh, by don donafrio and <clears throat> i i think I really like the name Everett, actually, but I'm not going to name him that. I haven't thought of a name yet, but he looks so realistic in that pose. Oh, my God, I love that. <laughs> I don't know how it looks to you guys, but from the other side and from the back end, he looks so real. Let me see if I can take him off me. Camera. So, yeah. So, like, he looks so, so real, like this. Let's see. Yeah, I love that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.